Sorry about that. Part two. Uh, how did it make you guys feel as a band uh, with the albums Wake the Dead and Broadcasting hitting the Billboard 200 Heat Seekers and top independent albums? I like charts. <laughs> I like charts too. You like them uh, Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really affect us too much. I mean, it's a cool, I guess that's kind of a cool thing to know. I didn't know that both those records were on that, but I, th I thought maybe <laughs> I, think that's what, I didn't know either until I went on Wikipedia. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Someone else filled it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't really, doesn't really translate too much to our actual lives. Yeah. So it's that kind of stuff. It's one of those bonus kind of things. You don't, like, obviously the kind of music we make, we're not right. shooting for the stars, so it's like if anything happens, that's a bonus. Alright, this is a little back in the day. In 2007, when uh, Kevin called and left the band, uh, how'd that affect Come Back Kid as a band? We got a new bass player that's sitting there with the blue shirt, Matt. It affected me greatly. Yeah, it, affected, it probably affected him the most. It changed his life forever. No, Kevin, it was, uh, it was, uh, he left on good terms. He was just, he wanted to pursue a, a different life and uh, we love him for it. And he didn't bail on us or anything, he gave us a lot of notice. And yeah, there was no, no bad blood between us, definitely. You guys got any crazy tour stories or crazy fan stories? We're pretty boring. <laughs> we hang out. Nothing comes to mind. Come see us on the drink tickets. Or <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, uh, pre-show rituals you guys perform? Andrew. Everyone, every once in a while, there's a uh, a uh, pre-show drink. <laughs> Maybe a stretch. Nothing too formal. Uh, coughing. Coughing. I used to like stretch and rudiments and stuff but now I no problems who cares I just go out there and play you know? I'm changing into my stinky show clothes <laughs> we're not taking care of our bodies that's, well, that's what we've show. heard with every band so far yeah. <laughs> as the tour goes on I get lazier and lazier yeah, like when it starts yeah, I change my shoes yeah. pants and shirt and then it goes down to just changing the shirt and then eventually I just play in what I'm wearing yeah the first three shows it's yeah we do Real a lot pro. of stretching and so yeah by the end it's just yeah um, your new album, Symptoms and Cures, what was the inspiration behind that and why do you to why do you guys refer to it as red plastic cups in mind, beer spilling all over with fists in the air? <laughs> I, I just did an interview yesterday and they asked the same question. Uh, maybe I said it once in an interview and then that's... Uh, Stuck. I don't know. Yeah, we fucking, we wrote a song uh, <laughs> called GM Vincent and I and we kind of, we do a lot of festivals in Europe and what comes to mind when the song, when we kind of wrote the song it was just kind of like I don't know kind of like a party song and uh you know German dudes with you know <laughs> I don't know I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory but you haven't heard the record so you wouldn't know <laughs> oh, <Touché. burns. laughs> um, how hard is it for you guys to battle between some uh, uh, you, know, you guys got some side projects like figure four or something sound etc isn't a band really anymore. We haven't done a show since like 2004, maybe. So I think that's it's been it's been a, quite a while. So that's that's kind of our old thing. We never broke up. That's just because we never really closed too many doors in our life. Lives. Uh, uh, Sights and sounds I do, and then these guys have a band called Mo Talker. But uh, it kind of you know just we just balance it out. We come back in as a new record now, so we're touring with that. And then like last year, we kind of had a little bit of a slower year. Comeback Kid touring wise, so the other bands had a little bit more time to pursue. And last but not least, uh, what does the future hold for Comeback Kid? Anything exciting you guys got coming up? Well, we just, yeah, put out the record, uh, I guess it's about a month and a half ago now, so that just means lots of touring. So, yeah, we've got South America coming up, we have Europe coming up, uh, Australia, That's Japan. Japan, it's, yeah, so we're going to be on the road all I think for the last year. Safe to say, for the next year, we're gonna be on the road for the most part. So that's for the for the medium term. That's yeah. Excellent. Well, I appreciate you guys taking the time. Out.